today is all about our students and our special guest speaker, who is a former Cole graduate, has a very special message for you. This wonderful lady has lots of talents. She's an award-winning poet, author, freelance writer, former radio announcer, and frequent radio and television guest on lots of different broadcasts, whether it be radio to uh, shows as Great Bay San Antonio. She's authored four books of poetry, and her work and articles have been featured in magazines and many, many publications. She recently spoke at Cole's Black, History, Black American History Celebration, and it is a true pleasure to welcome her today, Mrs. Wanda Thomas Lewis. Hello, Cougars and Cow Cougars! I told Miss Patton that I might take a risk. There are a number of cool high school students over here. And if you know this little chant, chant along with me, and then I want the rest of the whole cougars to chat along with me, and the baby club cougars to chat along with me. Okay? We are the cougars, mighty, mighty cougars. Everywhere we go, people want to know who we are. So Here's the youngest team running down their wing of RGC, 
with lockers opening and slamming shut, and love chats from young girls to young boys who promptly run away, just as Mr. White emerges as if from ether commanding, walk, and the footsteps fall, slow down, until they make their way to their deaths in first period. Their minds open to the voices that will bring them the ideas of challenge and exploration. And further still, listen to the sounds of my hall, where sophomores, juniors, seniors, Cougar Strong, field our Cougar Nest as a jump shoots an imaginary and runs smack into the office door. Here giggles, howls of laughter, and calls of far out as boyfriend and girlfriend holding hands as friends who appear to be conjoined at the hip as loners like me walk the beckoning corridors of learning. Listen to jokes made before class about Romero Gaitonto as he prepares to make math make sense. And hear the strains of the whole of Montezuma, sung by Mr. Brandenburger, a horrible singer, but an erudite world history expert. Hear Mr. Lynn warning, young people, discipline yourselves. Now, it will be almost impossible to do so later. Then Ms. Mawinney's word of much needed caution to keep your brains consistent, keep them high, and you will do well in my life. Mm -hmm. Here Ms. Hawkson, wrapping up a stimulating American history lesson with a signature smile, with that signature smile, and a funny story about an American hero, her hero, John Wayne. Miss Malden, collecting permission slips, gearing up for one of her fabulous one act plays. Mrs. Villa, students in tow, getting ready to create the most beautiful art imaginable. Miss Moody, hands zooming across an electric typewriter with FBLA news. Miss Seal, chiding for quiet. You cannot win this competition. Don't use that little muscle called diaphragm. And listen to Miss Mexico's amazing silent laughter. <laughs> Brought on by a quote from William Faulkner, or kids cracking up with Coach Covington's southernness, his blue eyes searching ours as he says, Now, more. We're going we're gonna to be working on, 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 on a science project. With the going to the market. <laughs> and Coach Perkins challenging seniors after a hot dialogue with government class. Yes, you can change things, but you must do it the right way. Coach Klaus, Coach Diesenbach, lonely figures, giants of men, acquainted with disease silently walking across the football field. Miss Dinker, the only teacher in the world who could make, who could make girls PE a scholarly pursuit <laughs> by rigorous testing in the Cooper Gym. Mrs. Schwartz, a powerhouse of energy and information, precursor to the Energizer Bunny and the Encyclopedia Britannica. Mr. Griffith, whose knowledge of science was as keen as his com compassion was real. Miss Dawn, who had that cute little bunny nose that wiggled as she shut the library quiet. And Mr. Morgan, the booming voice of authority, pulling it all together. Here, in these halls, from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond. Minds off and work, sumptuously fed, 
by men and women who put up with our rose-colored ridiculous. But never our disrespect, never our laziness, and never our misconduct. We were kept by men and women who operated in an arena of cutting edge knowledge where all who were willing could partake. They kept us active in interscholastic league, science fairs, sports, including our club football attendance that I had. ROTC, band, Sadie Hawkins Day, pep rallies, choir, the military ball. They kept us secure and sure of ourselves, equipping us with the things needed for an ever-changing world. They kept us hopeful. As we survived bomb threats, protests, and the tragedies of the Vietnam War, they kept us in tune with reality as we tried to become long-haired, afro-wearing hippies, and kept us grounded when we had imbibed too much TV and music like Laughing In, Cliff Wilson, The Beatles, and The Jackson Five. Whether on the one yard line with one second to go, or huddling together, brainstorming a debate rebuttal, we had a guarantee that said, don't worry, we've got to that. We learned, we had fun, we were family. We were loved by those who also fired our minds with a desire to learn more about our world, about each other, about ourselves. Assuring us that we could make a difference. They were the gatekeepers that helped fashion our flight into the unknown. To return as doctors, dentists, soldiers, teachers, CEOs, preachers, scientists, writers, politicians, actors, nurses, physicians, and mothers and dads. Today, today we stand at that gate, saying thank you to all the teachers, administrators, counselors, support, food service, and maintenance staff, to all who made up the Fort Sam Houston ISD for an outstanding 50 years, 60 years in the making. I want to leave you with this. All the things that I just shared about us were made possible by men and women of the armed forces whose protecting arms kept us safe. Let's not forget them. Our soldiers, wounded, currently fighting, or who have given the ultimate. We stand because they sacrificed. And you, our teachers and administrators, taught us how to appreciate by urging us to be all that we could be. To all of you, once again, thank you for helping to make us who we are. We are the people, the mighty, Mighty Hoovers. Thank you.